I kind of have a problem with saying bad things about art I'm selling, but it was going well, but then it wasn't anymore. I kind of ruined at the end as well. You voted for my end of the year video to be ranking all my art from the past year. So that's what we'll do. So the tears are, I keep staring at it, which means when you would just made your art. And the next night you have to turn the lights back on and just look at it. I like how it turned out, had fun making it, so feel good art. Paint this again means it was a nice concept, but it needed to be fixed a bit. And the ugly stage means that it just never got out of the ugly stage. I still have a flu, so if I sound or look sick, that's why. <laughs> okay, we're starting with the parrot watercolor paintings. And technically these maybe aren't from last year, but they're from between Christmas and New Year's, and I'm filming this before Christmas, so technically they were within the last 365 days. I would say the African Grey Parrot is my favorite one out of these, and the one that <laughs> really didn't do well is this blue-headed Pioneer's Parrot. Uh, I kind of have a problem with saying bad things about art I'm selling, but this one just didn't turn out that well. The pose is completely off. The parrot wouldn't actually hang from a swing like this. I just added the swing afterwards. I like the bright colors and the berries and leaves on the background. And the funny thing is that so this was kind of a practice thing and I made this other Pioneer's Parrot afterwards that I much prefer, but uh, this one actually sold first, so you never know. Let's put the other parrots here. The Senegal, I mean I had fun making all of these, but the Senegal one maybe didn't turn out like I wanted it to, but the macaws were kind of fun. Okay, so next we have this canvas repaint. So I painted over an old canvas and I know this is about the art, not about the videos, but this video I went through so much trouble making it and then it kind of flopped. <laughs> but only at first. It's been doing fine since then. And the painting turned out Fine, not the best thing I've ever done. So next I tried making fan art for the Redbubble fan art program. And I tried it with Jurassic Park, right before the, um, the latest Jurassic World movie came out. And yeah, these were fun to make. I think the, the logo maybe turned out better than this one. Although with this one I I did a kind of a, I did the background inspired by a children's book and I really like the especially the top left part of the background. And if you wanna know if they approved my art for the fan art program, you can check out that video. So in the summer I also wanted to film a few videos outside and I wanted to do some simple charcoal sketches. So I think I prefer this one over this, but I just wanted to sketch something easy and the point was more so the scenery and atmosphere in the videos. But they're on the ASMR channel. And then next I wanted to try painting on leaves. And I think the first one, the oak leaf, turned out the best. And maybe this one, which I don't remember which plant this is. It was something called... it's called Climbing Hydrangea. Okay, but then with the other leaves I had some problems. This one was... this one is a maple leaf, but not like the normal kind, but it's really small, so it was kind of hard to... hard to paint on, still fun. This one, I think red currant, the leaf was really flimsy. <laughs> It was kind of difficult, didn't really work out. And then this one is a willow leaf and it just ripped before I even got to painting. It ripped in the priming part, doing the base coats and 
the answer's not great. So in September I got really sick with the flu and I thought I'd just do whatever I wanted to. And I got out my my drawing tablet that I unboxed years ago but never used, never learned to use. And I finally did this year while being sick and just had fun drawing these way too late at night. I think the first one was this cosmetics puddles one and yeah, it was the first try, so maybe not the best one. I would say my favorite was this ginkgo leaves one. The most fun to draw and I like how it turned out. Other ones I like maybe were these avocados, really simple but fun. I think some of the last ones I did were the Christmas one and yeah, probably these sea creatures and the butterflies and I was kind of over it by then, <laughs> so they're not the best. But uh, the diamonds I like and uh, the 90s retro video game controllers. I think this was a fun idea, but the drawing tablet wasn't really working perfectly, so I had some trouble, but I would do this idea again, maybe in, in a different medium. Four leaves I liked. I think the nail polishes especially are like fun to color. Mushrooms. Okay, so the tea or coffee cups. Again, a fun idea, but kind of difficult to draw actually. So I would maybe redo those. Then I did a Halloween doodle. Again, mostly for the ASMR channel, but for this one too. And I had fun making it. Nothing special though. Christmas roses. I already fixed some stuff after filming, but it needs some more work. So I would put it in paint this again. Now here's the other canvas repaint I did this year and I think I would put this on the highest tier just because it's not perfect but I like the color scheme. I like the sunset and kind of castle or a mansion and the hills. The color scheme is what I want to put on my bedroom wall so I'm pretty happy with this one. And then we have these cardboard paintings and this one was kind of a... Um, I tried painting on shiny cardboard, which isn't necessarily the easiest thing, and this was kind of the first try, so I would say that that's still at the ugly stage. The other ones, this one, the peacock plant, I love the color scheme, I just, yes, it goes there. The monstera leaves, uh, this one kind of was going down a bad path, but I got it saved, so I like how it turned out. And then the devil's ivy, had fun making it, maybe not my fave. Out of the Christmas paintings, I would say the fig tree branch is my favorite. Again, you can see it's a similar color scheme to this one. Well, the holly is a similar color scheme again, but it just didn't turn out as well. The mistletoe I liked, and the snowman, and the Christmas wreath, and the candy canes were pretty fun. But then out of these, I kind of ruined the star, the star was going well, but then it wasn't anymore, so it goes there. Christmas tree I kind of ruined at the end as well. Christmas lights, not my fave. And neither was the Christmas bubble. If you got a drawing set as a present and don't know what to do with half of these supplies, then check out this video next. Happy New Year!